House Ordos of the Ice World Draconis IV. The Ordos are known for their use of forbidden technologies. Their leader is the Executrix, four beings that share a single mind. They communicate through a creature known only as the Speaker. The Ordos are mercenary. They care for nothing, save power and wealth. In the language of the Ordos, there are no words for the concepts of trust or honor. There are more than 300 for the concept of profit. I have procured a new military strategist, as you directed. Strategist and overseer. The occupation has many facets. Show it the fate of the precursory strategist. Fear is an efficient tool of management. Let me die. Your predecessor's contract is ended. Yours is now in force. I am Roma Atani, mentat to the Ordos Executrix. To assure our victory in the War of Assassins, House Ordos has procured the technology to create Golas. Slave warriors grown in flesh vats, genetically formed from the corpses of our fallen enemies. These should prove quite effective for infiltration and assassination. As strategist and overseer, you will command our forces on Arrakis. That is the directive. You will recover territories lost by your predecessor. That is the imperative. You will acquire the planet and its one profitable feature. The Spice Melange for House Ordos. That is the only acceptable outcome. Failure is not an option. Few have set foot on Seleucia Secundus and lived to speak of it. A single life is irrelevant. And what is relevant, Mentat? The Sardaukar's function is to serve an emperor. Without one, you have no purpose. Without an emperor, we are ruled by the forces of chaos. That is intuitively obvious. And with chaos, there can be no profit. House Ordos will bring order out of chaos. <laughs> Will you? How? Enter! My lord! Treachery! Have you lost your mind? On your feet, General! No. Carino is dead! What is this abomination? Face dancer? I am no face dancer. It speaks with the Emperor's voice. I am Carino in all ways except one. I am not Carino. Spare me your riddles! What are you? Speak truth or die, here and now. I am a genetic duplicate. A Gola. Is that true? Genetic samples were taken from the dead body of the Emperor and smuggled from Kaitan by Tylaxu's spies. These have been purchased by House Ordos. Then he is identical to Carino in every respect. Your Emperor could return to his throne. A campaign of propaganda could explain that he fled an assassination plot and took asylum among the Ordos. Things would be just as they were. No. This creature was born of the Talaxu flesh vats. How can it be trusted? Mentat, go and tell your executrix that the Sadukar will travel to Arrakis. To observe the war. And we will ally with the house that grew strongest. Should that be House Ordos, then we will discuss the proper use of this thing. And when I have been returned to my throne, Sadukar, we shall discuss your disrespect at length. Perhaps. But as the Mentat graciously pointed out, a single life is irrelevant. Come, Bersake. 
Our troops leave for Arrakis within the hour. You have performed satisfactorily. I am directed by the Executrix to reveal classified information at this time. The Gola is conditioned to be loyal to House Ordos. When House Ordos defeats its enemies, the Gola will be placed on the throne as a puppet emperor. The Executrix will remain the true leaders of the Empire. Your immediate concern is Arrakis. The planet is infested by sentient nomads, the Fremen. They survive by wearing water reclamation systems. These exodermal units are called stillsuits. These creatures are of little use to the Odos. Avoid all conflict with them. But if they should interfere with your mission, destroy them. That is the directive. The troop reinforcements are adequate, Great Ones. When we return to Arrakis, how shall we proceed? There is a new directive. We wish to test the recently acquired weapons technology. Deviate our gas. Those who bring it are driven into a killing frenzy. They are also highly susceptible to suggestions. You will transport a container of the gas to the maintenance area of the Highliner. There, we will release it into the air supply. Before we reach Arrakis. That is the directive. I would not presume to question the judgment of the Executrix. That is wise. This will violate the terms of the Great Convention. The Convention is relevant. The supremacy of House Orders is the only consideration. You have been given the mission. If you value your contract and your life, you will not fail. Again, your performance is acceptable. The termination clause of your contract will not be utilized at this time. A strategy must be devised with regards to weapons procurement. The Tylaxu and Ix both offer new technologies that could prove useful, but the two are enemies. Each has made it clear that we are not to trade with the other. To do so would be a violation of contract. House X offers several new devices. They have developed projectors, armored vehicles that project holographic illusions. They have also developed infiltrators, a counter technology that will expose any type of enemy stealth unit. House Tyloxu offers new technology as well. Contaminators. That grown human hybrids that carry a virus. The virus mutates living tissue, transforming them into additional contaminators. Leeches. Bioengineered tanks that convert enemy units into replicas of themselves. A strategy must be devised. It may be possible to deal with both suppliers but not without risk. If either discovers a covert deal with its enemy, they will retaliate. Consider your options carefully. The purpose of our journey to Draconis IV is a review of your recent performance. I believe that the Great Ones will find it to be satisfactory. You should be aware, however, that... Transmission accepted. There has been a complication. A malfunction has occurred during the test of the Tylaxo leeches and contaminator units. They have escaped from the confinement area. The devices are increasing in number and have become unmanageable soon. They will overrun the great hall of the Executrix. Our existence is threatened. You will return to Draconis IV to prevent our destruction. That is the direct. You must destroy the malfunctioning weapons and prevent the destruction of the Executrix. That is the imperative. Prepare your troops!
It is a life form known as a sandworm. It appears to be non-functioning. We are picking up an unusual energy signature. The vehicle is of Tylaxu design. We do not know their interest in the worms, but we have reason to suspect a hidden agenda. They have denied any malicious intent with regards to the incident on Draconis IV. The Executrix has accepted this in order to preserve our access to Tylaxu technology. More information is required. We will increase our surveillance of the Tylaxu home world. In the interim, you will acquire the support of the Sardaukar. The Fremen must also join us, or be destroyed. We orbit the home world of House Harkonnen. Their destruction will ensure our supremacy. Attacking their home world is the most efficient process by which to achieve that objective. House Ordos must control Arrakis. Failure is not an option. We orbit the home world of House Atreides. Their destruction will ensure our supremacy. Attacking their home world is the most efficient process by which to achieve that objective. House Ordos must control Arrakis. Failure is not an option. The planet is ours, but there is a complication. The Highliner that transported us to this planet has returned to Arrakis. Our information network reveals that the Guild and the Tylaxu have launched a joint attack upon our remaining forces. The Highliner is unavailable, but I have entered into a business transaction with the Arakeen Smugglers Guild. They will transport our frigates back to Arrakis, covertly. That is the revised directive. We have arrived without detection. However, the situation on the planet is unacceptable. The Tylaxu have released contaminators and leeches. The nutritional provisions of all the houses have been contaminated with the psychotropic drug. They are now under the control of the Guild and the Tylaxu. Word has also reached our operators of a covert project. The Guild and the Tylaxu are experimenting with the sandworms at a complex in the desert. Their objective is to seize the throne by breeding a manworm with powerful telekinetic abilities. They call it the Emperor Worm. The plan is perfect. It cannot fail. You have the woman? Bring her! He's the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. That face is a blasphemy. Why do you retain it? Do you think I cannot see the truth? <laughs> Proved useful. You've done well, Celix. The guild will remember this. The Tylaxu are always pleased to serve the highest bidder. I understand you drank the illuminating poison while among the Fremen, the narcotic produced at the moment of death by a drowning sandworm. Can you see your own future? My dear? I have no future. Precisely. But your life fluid, your... your water, it has a glorious future. It will provide our new Emperor Worm with power beyond imagining.
but the Emperor Worm will live on! is victorious. You are to be commended. The conditional clause in your compensation package is now in force. The termination clause will not be utilized. Prosperity to House Ordos and to the ruler of the known universe, the Padishah Emperor Shaddam IV! Is the war over, finally? Truly, there are those among us with the gift of prophecy, the ability to see beyond the present moment to events that lie ahead. Yet even their sight is limited. Time is a vast desert, and each moment a single grain of sand. Who can truly know what the future holds? Who can know what lies in wait beyond the dunes. You are not satisfactorily fulfilling the requirements of your contract. Improvement is mandatory. Non-compliance will result in termination. Failure is not an option. Your contract is terminated. You will now serve as an example to future strategists. Fear is an efficient tool of management. Why won't they just let us die? The planet is ours. But, there is a complication. The Highliner that transported us to this planet has returned to Arrakis. Our information network reveals that the Guild and the Tylaxu have launched a joint attack upon our remaining forces. The Highliner is unavailable, but I have entered into a business transaction with the Arakeen Smugglers Guild. They will transport our frigates back to Arrakis, covertly. That is the revised directive. <laughs> 